Hello again, it's Karen back with part two of exercises taken from this booklet, Active at Home, produced by Public Health England um, at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. So I'm going to now go through standing exercises, okay? So, and then I'll explain a little bit more about the advice contained at the end of this booklet, at the end of the video. So, um, always warm up before you start any standing exercises. So, I'm going to move across here and be near a chair so it's there for support if I need it for my balance. It's always worth having something there for support just in case, okay? So, our first two exercises are marching. So, you can march on the spot with support or without if you feel confident and get your arms swinging and it's safe to do that for about 30 seconds and just lift your knees as high as comfortable to go depending on how hard you want to work because you're trying, trying to warm up and get a bit of aerobic lung and heart work there and then you have shoulder rolls so three rolls backwards Again, if you need support, you can just have a fingertip there. And three rolls forward. Okay. And then we go on to mini squats. Holding on the back of the chair again for support if you needed. Feet hip distance apart. And bend your knees so that your bottom always stays above your knee level but you're getting good work in the quads so we incorporate those exercises into our move it or lose it classes by doing a skiing action don't we so if you want to make that harder you can do your skiing in this booklet it says repeat everything three times i always prefer to repeat things five times to start with so that you know you're getting at least three good quality movements but it's entirely up to you and your your capability the next one here is uh, lunges. Now just be careful with this because what it's asking you to do is to step forward and bend your knees and back. Forward, a little knee dip and back. Okay, but if you have dodgy knees, and well, that's painful, just to step forward and back is fine. And again, with or without support. So you're just changing your weight or building up a little bit of knee bend as well. Again, go down as far as you're comfortable to go, but not so far past the point of no return. <laughs> okay? We then have a wall press for tricep strengthening. Be careful when you do this if you have balance problems. But if you're okay to do this, stand with your feet about um, a couple of feet away from a door or a wall. Hands at shoulder level and just leaning in and out. You'll also get a nice calf stretch there as well. But you're tr not trying to get your nose up against the wall. But much easier than doing a press up on the floor, isn't it? But it is still working the triceps really nicely. Okay, going back to standing, doing heel raises. Now you'll recognise a lot of these from the cuppa routine. That's uh, very familiar to Move It or Lose It class members. So if you're just doing it with support, you're working on strength. If you're doing it without support, you're working on balance as well. Okay? And then our sideways leg lift. So if I just turn the chair so you can see me, keeping your toe pointed forward and not twisting so that you're working the side hip muscles. Just refer back to my previous video on hip exercises if you're unsure of this technique. So taking one leg out to the side and down three times and then the other leg out to the side and down three times. It's just if you turn your foot to point out you're working the quadriceps muscles which you've just worked quite nicely on your knee bends so trying to keep leading with the heel is the best one there. And then you have three cool downs so you've got your hamstring stretch in standing which is one foot in front of the other, heel on the floor, bend the supporting leg. You can still have support on the chair if you want to. Hands on the bent knee and then just lean ever so slightly forward from the hips. So you feel a stretch around the 
back of that leg. So it's good for your balance as well, but if you need support, you've got it there. Otherwise, you can just balance in that position. Okay, come out of it gently after holding for about 20 seconds and then the other leg. And you can hear my knees cracking. I'm sorry about that. They're just having one of those days where they like to make a lot of noise. <laughs> and then just holding that. And don't forget that if any of these standing exercises are difficult, then you can do the seated version. Still works the, the muscles in the same way. And you've got your chest opening, okay? So arms out to the back, moving your chest forward, squeezing that imaginary orange between your shoulder blades. And again, holding that for 20 seconds. And then finishing off with three nice deep breaths. So in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Try to keep your arms relaxed if you can. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, so that's a little standing routine. Again, not many, but the beauty of it is that you can do it quite quickly and it doesn't take too much time in your day. Uh, now, the other information in this booklet talk about ways of building activity into your day. So it, you don't have to do specific exercises all the time, but it's just being active. And they mention things like uh, cleaning. Well, you know, it's your thing, spring's on its way, and that might be something you enjoy. I, I enjoy cleaning, but I think I prefer to do some of the other things on here, like dancing, <laughs> even if it's by yourself in your kitchen to your favourite music gardening which I love but try not to be doing too much too early and then you know get backache and other problems in the garden. Uh, going up and down the stairs so you can do that as an exercise or you know if you've got a toilet downstairs and a toilet upstairs try and go to the toilet upstairs more so just give you a reason for going up and down and do regular stretches so it could be just you know, stretching and moving or doing some of the stretches that we, we do in class or it could just be getting moving around and changing your position during the day. It also gives you information about staying healthy. So the things that they mention are washing your hands. I think we've all washed our hands more than we would like to over the last year, but it is good practice to follow still. Staying connected, so making sure that um, you keep in touch with friends and family through um, phone calls and letters and, and emails and texts and, and all the Zooming and uh, video conferencing that we've got used to over the last year as well, um, just to, so that we feel that connection with the people that we'd, we'd normally be seeing more. Uh, limit intake of foods and drinks that are high in fat, salt and sugar. Obviously, it will cause increased weight gain and high blood pressure, etc. Um, consider taking a vitamin D supplement uh, for healthier muscles and bones if you aren't often outdoors. And stick to regular meal times with a balanced diet. All common sense advice. Everything we know already, but it's just worth going through again. Um, take your prescription medicine regularly if you've got queries about that, seek your GP's advice, but don't stop taking anything until you've had the advice from your doctor. Uh, keep your mind active with uh, whatever you like, crosswords, puzzles, letter writing, and a new skill. Stay hydrated, so you aim to drink six to eight glasses of water a day, but you limit your alcohol and don't smoke, okay? And prioritising your sleep, so going to bed and waking up at regular times can really help and make sure you give yourself some time to wind down before going to bed. And also helps to plan your day, um, just to have something there to focus on so you feel like you've achieved some small goal, um, things that maybe you love to do or things that you need to do. So we need to do some jobs around the house um, on our usual chores, but things that we enjoy doing as well and have a good balance in your day. Okay, so thanks very much for listening and looking at those exercises. A few more ideas for you to think about and keep well and active. Thank you very much, bye.